Hi students today let us continue with the chapter human reproduction of class 12 last session you have learned about the parts of male reproductive system and now let us learn about the first event in sexual reproduction that is gametogenesis gametogenesis in males are known as spermatogenesis genesis means formation formation of the sperms that is what is known as spermatogenesis now this spermatogenesis takes place in the testis we have already learned that the testis contains seminiferous tubules which are the structural and functional unit of the testis here you can see a cross section of the testis on the inner side of the seminiferous tubules you can see two types of cells one is a spermatogonia and the other is a sertoli cells spermatogonia is the male germ cell that give rise to sperms sertoli cells will nourish the male gamete so now let us learn about spermatogenesis the male germ cell of spermatogonia is diploid carrying 2n number of chromosome spermatogonia undergoes mitotic division and thereby it increase in number some of the cells of the spermatogonia will differentiate to form the primary spermatocyte this primary spermatocyte is also diploid and this primary spermatocyte will enter meiosis 1 at the end of meiosis 1 two haploid daughter cells are produced called secondary spermatocytes these daughter cells are equal in size the secondary spermatocyte will then enter meiosis 2 to produce four haploid spermatids here also the division is equal the spermatids will then undergo transformation to produce the male gamete of spermatozoa and this process is called spermiogenesis so spermatogenesis begins at puberty and the male germ cell of spermatogonia is diploid it undergoes mitosis and increase in number some of the cells of the spermatogonia will differentiate to form the primary spermatocyte these primary spermatocytes are also diploid this primary spermatocyte then enters meiosis 1 at the end of meiosis 1 2 haploid equal sized daughter cells are produced called secondary spermatocyte the secondary spermatocyte will then enter meiosis 2 to produce four haploid equal sized daughter cells called spermatids these spermatids will then undergo transformation to produce a spermatozoa and this process of transformation of spermatids into the sperms is called spermiogenesis the sperm head remains embedded in the sertoli cells and draw nutrients from the sertoli cells it is then released from the seminiferous tubules by a process called spermiation so what is spermatogenesis it is a formation of the male gamete what is spermiogenesis it is a transformation of the spermatids into the sperms what is spermiation it is a release of the spermatozoa from the seminiferous tubules that is called spermiation so spermatogenesis begins at puberty each spermatogonium is diploid some of the spermatogonia called primary spermatocyte undergo meiosis this primary spermatocyte completes the first meiotic division leading to the formation of two equal haploid cells called the secondary spermatocyte the secondary spermatocyte undergoes the second meiotic division to produce equal haploid spermatids which are four in number the spermatids are then transformed into spermatozoa by a process called spermiogenesis after spermiogenesis the sperm head becomes embedded in the sertoli cells and are finally released from the seminiferous tubules by the process called spermiation now let us learn the structure of the sperm the sperm consists of a head a short neck a middle piece and a tail head a short neck middle piece and a tail head contains a haploid nucleus at the anterior end you can see a cap like structure called acrosome 
Acrosome contains enzymes that help the sperm to enter the egg. The nucleus is haploid. The middle piece is rich in mitochondria and provides sufficient energy. The tail helps in the movement of the sperm. So the structure of the spermatozoa is it consists of a head, a neck, a middle piece and a tail. The whole body is enveloped by the plasma membrane. Now what is the role of hormones in spermatogenesis? Hypothalamus secrete the gonadotropin releasing hormones. These hormones will move to the anterior pituitary to release the gonadotropins. The gonadotropins are of two types, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. Luteinizing hormone will move to the Leydig cells to release androgens. The androgens promote spermatogenesis. Follicle stimulating hormone move to the Sertoli cells to release growth factors essential for spermiogenesis. So these are the role of hormones in spermatogenesis. I hope all of you have understood my class. If so and you have enjoyed, please click like, comment and subscribe. And for detailed notes visit www.ranipradeep.com. Thank you.